and welcome to day three of the hunt in week two. We've got an amazing 14 races for you here today. And I'll be calling uh, the first four from Exeter, where the main race of the day will be the Halden Gold Cup, which is a uh, group two chase. 12 of them go to post there. A couple of joint favourites, a Sea Forever for Martin Leadham and Colbeck for David Robertson. Both came second last time out. Also, John Morgan's Emma Jane comes back, so returning from last year, a six-year-old. Only had two starts last season, fouled to finish in both. 13 to 2 is an offer on it, so it might be one to, to have a quick look at. Then we've, we're on to, we've also got the first of the per temps qualifier for the showcase at Cheltenham. Over three miles, I think there's 15 running there. I think Darren Thompson's seven-year-old, the top weight Yungay Blue Moon's going to be the fave. And then we pop over to Tipperary, where Martin Leadham's going to call home a fairly small field, but a fairly high-class field. No fewer than four previous winners in this race over the two miles. And also star juvenile from last season, Witchy Sticks, comes back for Leon Van Rensburg. And good luck to that one. Also then we've got, we're going to move on to Kempton where there's six races where Martin also will be calling them home. Um, we've got a G3 chase there, the Kauto Star, where 14 of them are going to go to post. Um, and where John Morgan's Princess Lady James also makes her seasonal reappearance, three-time winner last year. And then we finish up at Kempton with uh, the Starters Orders Hurdles and the Starters Orders uh, Chase qualifications taking place, the first legs there. Then I'll be calling, I'll be going over to the Black Forest. Black Forest Lodge, where I've got a couple of hunter chases to call, a three mile two and two mile four, with those horses that are rated 100 and below. And then we're going to finish with probably the most exciting race of the week and probably the season so far. And I'll be over, I'm going to fly over to the Czech Republic and uh, call home the Par du Bis, which uh, is a cross country four miler, makes the Cheltenham's uh, Glen Farkless cross country look like a, a bumper. Uh, they jump all sorts of fences, ditches, um, they run through plough fields, there's even a hairpin turn included, so definitely one to look out for in the last race of the day, so good luck with that one. I hope you've had some winners this week, and I'll catch up with you all next week. Bye for now.